Hello my friends my name is Mohammad Navid and in this lecture I am going to teach you remaining options of window menu In the last lecture we learned some of the options of a uh, uh, window menu in this lecture we are going to finish all the options of window menu The first option is definitely uh, in this lecture that is gradient So if I click on it so definitely I will take gradient panel So why do we use gradient panel we use gradient panel when we use gradient tool when we use gradient tool so if you want to learn more about gradient tool so you should watch my video on gradient tool getting me so this is the this is gradient panel and we use gradient panel when we use gradient panel when we use uh, gradient tool then what do we have next so we have graphic style for example if i want to apply any style to my object so what i do first i will select my object then i will go in window and then i will click on graphic style so as i click on graphic style i will get the graphic style panel so if i click as you can see that now i have this style for example if i select my object again and as you can see that now i have this style graphic style this style this style getting me so in order to apply any style what i need to do i need to first select my object then i have to come in graphic style panel and then i have to click any of the style and definitely i will get the style and if i want to take more style so what i do i will just simply click on graphic style libraries menu and as i click as you can see the now is showing all the uh, you can say uh, you can say all the st graphic styles we have showing all the menus of graphic style for example if i want 3d effect so what i do i will just simply click on it and as you can see the now i have 3d effect getting me so in order to get any effect so what we need to do we need to just simply click on it and then definitely here we have all the uh, you can say uh, you can say graphic styles getting me then what do we have next uh, uh, if i go again so uh, if then what do we have we have image trace so we use image trace definitely for example if i click on it so that i will get the image trace panel and why do we use image trace for example if i place any object for example if i go in file and if i place any object so if any object or any picture for example and let's suppose that picture is uh, is raster you know normal picture and if i want vector picture so how can i get with the help of image trace i can get getting me and if you want to learn more about image trace so you should you should watch my video on image trace uh then what do we have next we have info panel so if i click on it so definitely uh with the help of info panel i can get the information about my object means is right now showing the x axis y axis you can say width and height of my object getting me so with the help of info panel i can get the information about my object uh then what do we have next we have layers so if i click on it so i will get the layers panel so definitely we also have learned that what basic layers are and if you if you want to learn more about layers so you should watch my video on layers Uh, then what do we have next? So we have libraries. Let's suppose if you want to get a libraries, Creative Cloud libraries. So if I click on it, let's suppose if I want to get uh, Creative Cloud libraries. So what I do? I will go in window and I will click on libraries, and then I will get the library panel. In this library panel, I can get, for example, picture or anything. Getting me. So definitely, in order to use this, uh, you, uh, you you should have internet connection. Right now, I don't have. That's why it's saying me that you have to get all the things. Okay. Uh, then what do we have next? Uh, we have. Uh, magic definitely links definitely will show the links and uh, magic wand or uh, panel so definitely if, if, let's suppose if i if i'm using magic wand tool definitely let's suppose if i'm using magic wand tool and definitely if i want to uh, change the setting of magic wand tool so what i do i will go in window and then i will click on magic wand and i will get the magic wand panel and here i have all the options of magic wand tool getting me so with the help of magic wand panel we can get the options of magic wand tool Then what do we have next? So we have navigator. So with the help of navigator, we can navigate around our uh, we can say artboard. For example, if uh, if let's suppose if I want to go here, there, anywhere. So as you can see that with this, uh, you can say you can say uh, rectangle or whatever you can say yellow. What if I click and drag? So definitely, uh, definitely I can I'm going anywhere. Getting me. So with the help of this, I can go anywhere. I can also change uh, you can say uh, the, the 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 zoom as well. Getting me. So let's suppose if I want more zoom. So if I will double, as you can see that now I have two hundred percent zoom. So that means I can also type the zoom as well. And let's suppose if I want to change the color of this, so I, uh, what I do, I will just simply click on it, and I will go in panel options. And here, uh, here we have, uh, you can say the color. Let's suppose if I want red color, so I will click on red, and if okay, and okay, and as you can see that now I have this red. Get me. So we can also change the color of this, uh, you can say rectangle as well, or you can say this. 
Uh, then what do we have next? Uh, we have Pathfinder. So what basically Pathfinder is definitely uh, we use Pathfinder to join objects and definitely we have discussed that what basically Pathfinder is in our uh, Pathfinder effect. Definitely if you want to learn more about Pathfinder so you have to go in facts and definitely you have to you have to uh, go and learn that uh, Pathfinder because when I was teaching uh, Pathfinder effect at that time I also thought that uh, what basically Pathfinder panel is getting me so if you want to learn Pathfinder so you should watch my video on Pathfinder uh, then what do we have next we have pattern option we have separation of the, uh, the most important stroke let's suppose if you want to change the stroke of your object so what basically stroke is let's suppose if I have this object and as you can see the outline in easy word we can say outline so let's suppose if you want to change the outline of your object so I, you can also change for example if I change the color as you can see that now I'm getting getting me so I can also change the width of my outline so in order to change the width what I do I will go in window and then I will click on stroke so definitely if I click on stroke so I will get a uh, stroke panel and in here I can change the you can say uh, the, the width of my stroke object stroke getting me uh, then what do we have next uh, we have uh, after stroke we have SVG uh, definitely this is the fact definitely we have also have learned about basically SVG filter uh, definitely so if you uh, if you want to get more uh, of control so definitely you can come and you can click on SVG interactivity then what do we have next we have swatches panel swatches panel definitely is very useful and definitely let's suppose if I have this object and if I want to if you were if I want to change the color of this object so I can also change the color of this object getting me so let's suppose if I want to apply this color this color this color getting me so with the help of swatches I can also change the color so as you can see the now showing all the colors getting me so let's suppose if I want any color I can also get any color getting me and let's suppose if I uh, if I have this uh, for example if I have another object and the color of this object is for example this color okay and let's suppose if I want to save this color if I want to save this color for example uh, I have the picture of of any human being okay and if I want the uh, if I want to save the color of the skin so how can I save so what I do I will go in toolbox and then I will find I will find definitely with this uh, definitely uh, yeah definitely eyedropper and I will click and definitely I will get the color and what I do I will come here and I will click and definitely is asking that uh, what the name of your color or you swatch his name or you can you can give any name and after this, if I click OK so definitely I will get this color getting me so you we can also save the color we can also save the color for our uh, you can say for future use getting me so let's suppose if I have this object so I can also uh, you can say save the color uh, of, of this object getting me so swatches panel allows us to take the color and also save the color then what do we have next we have symbols definitely uh, symbol, symbols uh, panel we will get if, if we go in window and if we click on symbols so definitely we will get a symbols panel why do we use symbols panel when we when we use symbol uh, tool so definitely in order to use symbol tool we have to use symbol uh, panel getting me and if you want to learn more about symbols so you should watch my video on symbols tool uh, then what do we have next we have transform so what basically transform is let's suppose if I have this object for example if it can be an object for example if I want to change the X position Y position width, height, angle so I can also change here getting me or if I'm using selection tool so I can also change the height width or if I want to change the you can say if I want to rotate my object in, in, in any angle so I can also rotate my object in any angle with the help of uh, selection tool or if I want to change my object direction or uh, angle so I can also change here getting me showing the X position Y position angle height with everything uh, then what do we have next uh, we have transparency definitely will show the transparency and type uh, basically type is for uh, you can say text tool for example if I come in toolbox as you can see then now I have type tool so let's suppose if I want to change the type color or everything so what I do I will go in window and here I have all the options of type uh, tool getting me in the last what do we have we have brush libraries we can also get the brush libraries here uh, shortcut you can say you don't need to come for example if I want the swatch library so I, I, I don't need to uh, come in window and then I have to find swatches and then I uh, or for example if, if let's suppose if I want the sample libraries so I don't need to go in window and sample then I will get the sample panel and then I will go here then I will go now if you want to get any library so you can also get a library here you have all the shortcuts for example if you want the brush library just come in window and it will show the, all the libraries means brush library graphic style library uh, strategic library symbol library getting me 
so that is your shortcut of libraries getting me so in this lecture what have we learned we have learned uh, all the options of uh, window menu i hope you've understood for more videos lecture and exercises come to my website www.navithplace.com i love you and i will meet you in the next till then allah hafiz